All right, so I think I figured out where I'm gonna mount my fuel pressure regulator here. And uh, I think, I mean, if I ever take this off to service anything, then uh, you know, I'll have to undo the fuel system. But I think and right here is the perfect spot. And it's already checked to make sure it's gonna clear the hood and everything. It sits inside this pocket and it looks like it's got plenty of room. But right there is where I'm thinking about putting it. So this is gonna, this one's gonna stay because this is EVAP. This one's gonna be gotten rid of. Um, but if I mount it right here, then my return can come straight out to where this quick connect is right here. So it's in, like I said, if you watch the uh, fuel system videos, I'm using the uh, stock feed line for the return. So the return, I'll be able to do a push lock fitting that's got a dash six uh, fitting on it and just make a little couple inch hose just to drop straight from the bottom to there. So that'll be real simple on that part. And also, I can, uh, right here's my feed line. This is coming from the tank. So this is gonna come up and uh, I'm gonna keep it along the top side of this uh, bracket here because just keep it away from the header. And it'll be able to go straight into this 180 fitting and then the uh, line that comes from the uh, from the fuel rail that comes with the fuel rail kit is a length to go to this push lock fitting that's right here for the stock feed line. So in theory, I'll be able to do my feed line to this side, 180 into it, and then be able to go with that uh, fuel rail kit hose, the one that comes with the fuel rail kit, straight into there and my return straight down and then hook up for a booster reference. So I'm thinking that is going to probably be the best spot for this i was thinking about making a bracket off of here or under the cowling but the cowling metal starts way back here instead of this is all plastic this whole front couple inches if this was out to metal here i was thinking about maybe mounting it down in here or something but i think right there is going to be the best spot it's not the most convenient because if i ever got to take this out to service something then i'm gonna have to pop just pop these fittings off or i could even just take the two bolts out that might even be easier take two bolts out and just lay it to the side and take that out so that's what I am going to do. So I'm going to drill some holes and uh, find some, uh, some bolts that'll work through this. I may punch these out a little bit bigger if there's enough meat to a quarter inch so I can do quarter 20 because that's just something I got here in the shop. So I'm going to get on it. So there is the uh, fuel pressure regulator mounted up, the bracket. So I just got to take these two screws off the back and put it down there to the bottom. But that's it. I'm thinking about taking these front washers off because they just look a little clunky. I'll leave the back ones on, you won't really notice them. I'm thinking about taking those off just so, uh, well, let me see here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off just so it looks a little better. So I'm gonna do that and get the uh, fuel pressure regulator mounted to it and I'll show you that in the car.
So here is the uh, fuel line all hooked up here. Just made this end of the hose with this fitting. Go on right there and it'll run forward and this one will be running to the regulator to this fitting here. So I'm going to put the uh, intake back in here in a second just to uh, slip it in there to mock it up and uh, see what hose that uh, length that hose needs to be. And then uh, I'll pull the intake back out because I'm still waiting on injectors and the uh, map sensor to go in the back. So still waiting for those parts. So I'll pull it back out, but I'm gonna put it in there and mock it up to get that fuel, fuel, uh, fuel line finished up. And I'll go ahead and make my return hose to, to drop straight out of here down to there. So. So I had a couple more parts come in last night, guys. This is the uh, 100 micron fuel filter. It's a rebuildable one. I just got it off eBay. Um, seems to be pretty nice quality. Um, I opened it up and checked the element out and uh, it looks pretty nice. Comes with this bracket. Comes with fittings for dash six, dash eight, and dash 10. Comes with these right here. And they all come with O-rings on them. So I mean like, it's not like they're just gonna send you two O-rings and then whatever set, set you use, you gotta put the O-rings on. They send you O-rings with all of them. This nice bracket with the rubber isolator that actually recesses and fits down nice and smooth it's a nice little aluminum billet looking piece and that's how it tightens down right there but we got that in that's going to go underneath the car and then this as well because um i had one of these but i accidentally broke it that little thread right there um but this goes in the uh transmission cooler feed line for the transmission cooler and this is what i'm going to run my transmission fan off of it's just 180 degrees, uh, turns on at 180, turns off at 165. And uh, I'll have to look at the schematic again, but I think it's only a power in and then the power out. So you give a power to one side and then the other side goes to your fan and then you just ground your fan to a chassis point or something. But I think it's real simple. I'll have to look at the schematic again and I'll confirm, but I think that's all it is. It's just a power in and a power out at 180. So get those suckers on i'll show where that goes in a second and i'll show where i'm going to mount that and make the fittings for it and everything else so so this is the uh, little kit i bought at first it comes with uh it's an an fitting on each side um i believe it's a dash six because it's three eighths line i believe it's a dash six on each side and it comes with the fittings to make it barb and it comes with the fitting but i broke my original one so i had to order another one but yeah like it said like i said uh Switched ignition uh, goes to the inlet or goes to the uh, to one terminal and then the other one just goes to your fan and then the ground goes to a ground and it says here has two male terminals attach one it doesn't matter which so you can put your power to whatever side and then just have the other side go to the fan so a real simple setup and I think it's going to help out a lot.